asteroids and comets is that they're small. So they have orbits around the sun that can change. Now, obviously, no orbits are circular. They're all elliptical. But the planets and most of the asteroids and comets have orbits that are very nearly circular. But if you perturb one of those, that ellipse can become much, much more eccentric, much longer and thinner. And that can bring asteroids and comets quite close into the sun. Now, if that happens, of course, then planets and their moons can get in the way. And that's when we get hit by stuff. If we were hit by a big one. An asteroid would be hitting the Earth at somewhere between 15 and 20 kilometers per second. When a 10 kilometer sized rock hits the ground, the rock itself simply vaporizes. So what you get is a nice big explosion under the ground. That blows a crater. And if your rock was about 10 kilometers across, you'd expect a crater about 200 kilometers wide. The heat and the blast from the explosion itself is going to take out, well, certainly the area of a large country. The material blown out in that explosion is what really does the damage. You set the sky on fire, which means on the ground underneath, of course, you're under the grill. And it'll also set fire to forests and brushland globally. The smoke and the soot from those brush fires then combine with the dust that was blown out in the atmosphere to simply blanket the planet. Add all of that together and we have a really bad day. The last time this happened, it wiped out the dinosaurs. Is there anything we can do to avoid the same effect?